here's the uh, injectors before I uh, installed them. Make sure you uh, write down your injector trim codes. Uh, there, there's a little dab of uh, lube plate on the tips of those valves. Um, for there's the crosshead that's going to go on them. There was also the injectors already installed. Which there's nothing to it, just lube up the O-rings and uh, torque them down. There's a timing mark and it's dead marked up with that little knob on the front cover there, or gear housing. So <clears throat> here's the adjustable idler not on there. And um, I'm sorry I didn't show the timing marks on the crank before I put the cover on. Uh, here's just the turning tool. Um, so right here you just want to have your flywheel on there and turn it to where you can pin it with the cam lined up. Now this is a little um, oil hole uh, and if you kind of line it up it'll get you pretty close to the lash you want. Um, so I just kind of <clears throat> put those on a little bit snug and then I put them in here. And there's showing what the lash should look like. And I forget the specs. I think it's like 8 to 12 or something like that. But it, it's pretty much like any gear lash. Usually like 6 to 12. And there it's on, torqued on. But I found that if you have it all um, torqued on and the mark on the gear is lined up with the mark on the cover. And the crank is lined up and it's pinned and you have that lash you will also not have to do the timing calibration uh, once the engine is all put together which the timing calibration synchronizes the crank and the cam uh, timing sensors you know and and if they're too far out then it just won't pass so I actually just added these photos so I could get time to talk a little bit more because uh, each frame I can only do 10 seconds on this app so uh, that's just some different angles of the engine kind of coming along and um, I can't think of anything else I just uh, I Loctite all that stuff in the gear train up there um, it just makes me feel better but uh, yeah that should get you going